Right, if I was to ask you what is the home of car culture, you're probably going to tell me Japan or America, right? Well, I have my own personal opinion and it's neither of those countries. Um, it's actually the country I'm in right now. Uh, I'm Mike, you're watching Candy Show and thank you for tuning in. Welcome back to the program. Let me flip the camera and I'll show you where I am. I am with Gresswell himself. This is our rental, a Seat uh, Arona. Some, some shit. Bad boy whip. Bad boy whip. Look and um, there. amazing. And we're in Poland. That's the magical place. That is, this is the home of car culture. And we're off somewhere very exciting. Uh, you know where we're going, because you can see by the title of this video. Uh, we've got two things to take care of in Poland. We're off to see fucking Kevin. Amazing. To shoot him for speed hunters. And then the rest of the weekend is spent at um, Autodrom Jastrom, which is a uh, racetrack where we're going to be attending next level international drift event. Um, it's amazing. It's amazing. I'll tell you all about it when we get there. Right. We have two and a half hours worth of driving ahead of us in the rental, which is obviously the fastest car in the world. Yeah. It's two and a half hours on the maps. I reckon one hour 40. Easy. Right. See you on the other side. So, uh, just a quick little kind of note on where we are. Uh, we're in Łódź. Łódź. It's a city kind of in the Midlands in Poland. And uh, we took a six o'clock in the morning flight to be here. Um, they only fly there once a day, um, as this early. And uh, we just picked up this Seat of Rose Arona rental car. It's got lane assist. Hang on, tell them how much for? Oh yeah. Four days? For four days, it's 40 pounds. <laughs> That's 39 pound, 40 pence. Poland is incredible value for money. Really? Right, let's see if we can show them a lane assist. Oh, there you go, see? It's moving. Wait for it. Oh, there you go, it's turning. Hands <laughs> or feet, like it's a Amazing. It's like a Tesla. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's oh, a camera. That is a camera, yeah. Oh, shit. Please. <laughs> yeah, oh, well, there you go. Please you get the idea. The of the lane, that's what it said. <laughs> This is my first time in Łódź. I, uh, I was actually born in Poland, so I can speak the language. Uh, which means it's great fun when I come over with a friend, because I can be the translator. Oh, uh, really good. And he doesn't have to do anything. But I have to just some brief words, like thank you and Let please. Lewetka, there you go. Oh, a little hint as to where we're going. If you know, if you know you're Polish, you know Lewetka. Two hours later, we have arrived in top secret night ride location. Well, nearly. We're about uh, nine minutes away still. But, uh, man, lovely part of the world. Everything's so green here and so Gorgeous. pretty. It's absolutely yeah. lovely. What are you thinking about the car, Josh? I've having driven it for the best this? part of... Yeah, it's two hours now in the car. I, mean, I like it. It's very responsive. Very responsive. It's very darty. I reckon I get like sub seven around the ring. Go-kart. Actual go-kart. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we're excited. We just had a spot of, of lunch. Just had a terrible experience in Mackey's, absolutely awful. I had a good experience. Um, well, as good as you can get in McDonald's. So yeah, we're just uh, five minutes away now. So see what it looks like when we get there. We've made it to the um, night ride compound and we've just spent a good hour, hour and a half chance everyone and filming this little thing. So you would have probably already seen it at some point on the internet. This is Kevin. That's a hijack with a uh, motorbike in the back. I'm not sure which one. Uh, and it's a 600cc thing. And using a mixture of engineering and black magic, they've plumbed it up to the inside of the uh, of the hijack. Now, I've just done a full shoot for speed answers of this thing. Um, all the photos are in here, and I'm, I imagine the article will be out before you see this video. Um, but long story short, they've had this for the best part of four or five years, and spent this whole time building it. Josh, what do you think of Kevin? You're super excited to see him. This is my favorite car ever. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Uh, cars go, this is proper there, mate. So, yeah. You know what I mean? Well, it's a nice mixture yeah, of... Yeah, it was an alt race anyway. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a like, it's like I had a run to see Kevin at the alt race. <laughs> it's a nice mixture of, uh, well, fun, engineering, crazy idea. Oh, yeah. And, like, actually really nice craftsmanship. Check out the manifold running from the back of the motorbike. <laughs> Sounds nuts. I filmed some clips of it running. 
I'll chuck them in here. Nice. <laughs> Precisely. Front setup is a mixture of, I think, a TA Techniques compressor, airlift management, and some bags they found off of an old truck. Um, engine covered that, 600cc motorbike thing. Uh, check the floor mats out inside of it. This is all custom made by one of the friends of the, uh, of the team. Um, runs from the front to the back of the car. And interestingly, it also has a little bit of carpet up on the dash here. So cool. And then all the way down there as well. I'm not sure you can see it on camera. Hopefully you can. I was uh, complimenting the guys on how nicely styled it is. There's no, nothing tacky about it. It is a crazy caricature of, a, of an old van and it just looks amazing. <clears throat> so today's prep day for the uh, Not Right guys and uh, their friends because um, Tomorrow, well rather tonight, we're off to Autodrom Jastrom, I think I pronounced that right, and it's a racetrack kind of in the Midlands in Poland, and that's where Next Level Drift are organising their yearly international event, so obviously the night ride guys, they speak cars, and they will be there, um, drifting and having fun, along with everybody else, so not only do I get the chance and pleasure of shooting Kevin for speed answers tomorrow, and on Sunday, I'm also going to be uh, covering Next Level 4 for them as well, so yeah, exciting stuff, uh, yeah. Good time to be alive as well, I can't lie. Awesome seeing everybody kind of prep and fix cars and get everything in shape for uh, for the weekend ahead. Alright, back in the Seat, leaving the uh, night ride compound you could say now. Josh, where are we off to? Uh... We're off to the supermarket to buy some water, fruit, fresh, fresh produce. Something to uh, keep us fueled because we have another three and a half hours at least of driving ahead of us um, to get to the to get to the venue where the race track's happening at. I'm excited because for once we've nailed the hotel. We have a hotel on site with most of the people that are driving. So um, thank you, Fiji. Thank you, Fiji. Again, the guy delivers. Yeah. He yeah. absolutely delivers. Um, so yeah. yeah, it's going to be a great time. Hopefully, we get a chance to get pissed up with the boys. Have a couple of drinks, have some nice food, chill, and just generally have a good time. So yeah, off to the shop. You know what? I haven't mentioned, if you watch the uh, videos of me at Le Mans... There you go, that's there better. You go. If you watched the videos of me at Le Mans, you would have known that I had a memory card that was too small for me, and it kept... I kept running out of space. Shout out to my little brother, he bought me half a terabyte worth oh. of mini SD that's currently in that little thing right now. So Shout I can just film everything. I can show you guys more behind the scenes stuff because I reckon that's what people actually enjoy, you know. The cars are fun, but seeing us and about moving about and active and being being little operators, probably half fun. Also, first time driving the uh, 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 Arona now. Arona! See Arona! Put some respect on its name. Mate, this car's funny. The brakes are super sharp. I mean, you it's think a new car. I was driving a bit weird? It's because it's literally so direct. Yeah. <laughs> Look at these cars. Yeah, Ooh. look at that. What the fuck is that's a Fiat? Look at that Dewu, the Dewu Nexia. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Amazing. Right, Josh, I could do with. Oh, oh mango. We need to um, we need to go maps. I need to find right. a supermarket. I'll do it over again. Bye. Cheers. <gasps> We've uh, walked 20 meters inside. Josh has already located the first on, snack of the off. journey. You went. Josh, <laughs> you want a blue donut? Yes. Yeah. Of course, I want a fucking blue donut. <laughs> Right, check out the state of this rig check. This is unreal. We got a seven seater crew cab, uh, Iveco thing, with one car on the back of it, and then a trailer for those two BMs up there. I'm gonna film them chucking it on because it's gonna look unreal. Josh, mate, you're part of the part of the effort, mate. You're part part of the uh, part of the drift day prep. How do you feel? <laughs> There's so many people to introduce you guys to. This is Garlop, he, he's got the compact. And he's a fellow Brit who uh, hangs out with these Polish dudes here. Also, it's a bloody Oxford Green, Oxford Green sedan. Pre-face lift. Honestly, Poles absolutely love a BMW. They all love them. Everyone owns one here. I reckon there's gonna be a lot of BMW content this weekend. I'm looking forward to showing it to you guys.
the Spoogie's car. Look at that thing. You're going first. Loads of BMZ. There's going to be so many this weekend. Cool, so the trailer that was just there has moved down to the bottom of this hill. Let's get it on flat ground so the boys can load the cars up easier. Look at this thing. <laughs> everything is scrubbing, everything. Here comes another one. Done. Look how stiff it looks. Look how stiff it is. It's on the hockey pucks. Well, looks like anyway. They should in theory go on pretty easy. Because that thing there is going to be a pain in the ass to go on. It's all kicking off here. Yeah. This is uh Stop, 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 stop. Keep slipping. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and holding this compact back from slipping off the ramp. That's nice. Right, I had to cut filming because everyone had to help out. Absolute fuckery getting this car on the trailer. And this is going to be even worse. Also, we've just attracted a crowd of kids. Naturally, as you do. Oh boy, oh boy. They've had to put wood above the rear, um, above the rear spring. Again, so much fuckery involved, had to stop filming, but that's all on, it's all done. I think the boys are just uh, balancing out the cars, because obviously the trailer bends. Needs to make sure that it, uh, it works alright. Amazing. We're on route. We're on route to uh, next level. Uh, with the team that we spent all day with. I'm in the fast lane hogging it, but there's nobody behind us. It's fine. Check out this absolute convoy that we have going on. This trailer setup is something I've never seen before in my entire life. I'm going to speed up a little bit just to get that video. Look at that. That is absolutely bonkers. Amazing. Right, I need to pull in because it's got behind me. So, quick sit rep, we've been on the road now for probably the best part of 45 minutes. Yep, that's it, probably about that right. Yeah, and um, basically, uh, we're running a little bit behind schedule. We um, simply had uh, a really nice relaxing time at the uh, night ride uh, unit, you could say. We uh, spent a little while back in the cars up and generally just kind of relaxing and chatting. Um, today's the Friday before the, uh, the main weekend event. So there's no major rush to actually get anywhere. Um, we've decided to kind of take it easy on the journey there and follow the guys because um, it's just interesting to see their cars and uh, their kind of, what is it? 
It's interesting to see the Leviticus bouncing the, down the, the road. Leviticus bouncing down the road. Thank you, Josh. Um, as you can see now, Jesus. The roads we went back through. I don't know if you got it on your film. Mm, I don't think so. No, oh, it was on my video. The the roads around here are literally so bouncy. Like, they're not roads. See. They're literally like mud tracks with concrete on. Bearing in mind this is the motorway, and I'm doing 65 kilometers, which is probably about 45 miles an hour. Um, that's how bad the roads are, and it's not even like we're going too slowly. The locals are not breezing past us. Um, the roads are genuinely probably the worst roads I've ever been on. Just my shite life. roads, yeah. Um, it so yeah. It's interesting to just kind of keep pace with these guys. Um, They're pulling in now, so ah, the trailer lights are broken. Yeah. I wonder if they're gonna. Yeah. Oh, you can. You might not be able to see that in the video. He probably but, can. It's pulled the wire out. That's how bad the bumps are. Yep. That's what, that's what it looks like. But yeah. All right, let's see what's wrong with these uh, with these guys then. Yeah, you can press that little bit more. Uh, <laughs> tell you what, as I keep driving and. Um, and kind of cracking on with the journey. We're going into like a really kind of stunning sunset, which you probably can't see because the camera can't pick up the, um, the highlights that well. But, um, cool. I'll tell you what, Poland is bloody beautiful. It is a real pretty country. Um, everywhere you look is nice and green, and it's almost like, it's almost like a video game map, in a sense. Um, I think you can kind of agree in that one, Josh. I was Josh. just saying it looks a bit like GTA, so if you go in the back, back depths of a GTA map. It's just nothing, nothing, nothing for ages. This is what it's like, but it's quite nice. So. It's really, really stunning. It makes me uh, makes me rather reminiscent of, uh, of when I was a kid and my memories of Poland from when I lived in the countryside, which is a total change to my life now in London. Um, but yeah, it's nice to kind of revisit it and, and it's a nice reminder of just how pretty the country is. Anyway, yeah, it's getting dark now, so I'm not sure how much more we're going to film. I'm hoping to wrap it up when we get to the hotel um, and that can be the whole video of us kind of getting to Poland, seeing that right guys, and showing you some prep for the weekend ahead. Um, and I reckon Saturday and Sunday will be a, a separate video altogether just because it's I, Pretty samey samey. It'd be samey samey, but there'll be a lot to unpack. Um, it's a totally different vibe to what today was like. Um, so it's yeah, nothing we, like what today was. Yeah, well, <laughs> we hope so anyway. I reckon it'll be full of action and fun and yeah. and a lot, a lot, a lot of drifting. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put the camera down again. We'll pick it up when we get to the hotel and see if we'll see what it's like. We'll see if anyone if anyone's there and we'll see if anyone's drinking because I fancy a pint after a long down the road. Josh, the passenger, is already cracking on with it. He has been for the last half hour, so. And uh, we got a dash stack. And we got dash stack on the go. There we go. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the evening, the evening is is going well so far. I can't lie. Right. There is no chance you can see any of this. I don't think my camera can pick up the dark that it. well. I can see it. Well, Josh can see it, and I can see it. But basically, we've arrived at the hotel. We finally made it. Um, this place is amazing already. Um, we've been here for 15 minutes and there's just so many lowered street style drift cars everywhere. I finally cracked open a beer after a whole day because um, in Poland there's a no drink driving allowance at all so you couldn't drink until now. It's uh, approaching midnight. We've been up since three o'clock. Well, half two actually. And uh, frankly speaking, it's been a long, long day. We've I've had loads of sleep. I haven't. Yeah. No, it's, I've had uh, loads, approximately three hours worth of. Anyway, we've done so much today. Met the night ride guys properly, shot Kevin, spent a combined six, seven hours on the road and got a two and a half hour flight. Yeah, we're gonna go for a quick final walk around, well, what I believe are some of the paddocks. And then, uh, yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna clock out here. What an incredible, incredible day so far. And uh, an amazing weekend planned ahead. So yeah, as always, thanks for watching. Lots of love. Uh, and apparently, because it's the RB4, they both almost fit on. <laughs>